hi friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my space my room i am nikita your hostess with the mostest and over here friend we're gonna talk about all the things that's gonna help you improve the quality of your life so if you like stuff like that we gotta be friends and the way we can do that click the subscribe button click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post and that's every week so Today is a little different, friend, okay, because, uh, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I talked about estrogen dominance, and we talked about progesterone, so before I wanted to take my progesterone cream, my bioidentical progesterone cream, I wanted to do or get my hormones test tested, so I purchased this hormone saliva test kit, okay, and this is going to test my estradiol, my progesterone, as well as testosterone. So I'm getting all of those things tested. And um, I just kind of wanted to give y'all the rundown on what, what it's like or what you can expect um, when you take a, 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 um, a saliva test kit at home. Now, first and foremost, you have to do everything thoroughly and by the instructions. OK, because if you don't, it could really impact your results. And this test costs like. Over two hundred dollars, so you don't want to screw it up, right, by not following the instructions carefully and doing what they ask you to do or not to do. Now, um, you could take this for different things, but because I'm talking about progesterone, uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because the cancer that I had was being fed by my estrogen. And I've learned so much about estrogen dominance and how that affects uh, your body as well as contributes to cancer. So I felt that it was important to to know and to understand how progesterone deficiency contributes to estrogen do dominance, which also, which also contributes to cancer. And instead of taking the tamoxifen that my doctor recommended, I wanted to do my own research and find out what it is that I could take um, to balance out my estro estrogen and come to find out it's progesterone. So I want to make sure that my progesterone levels are where they need to be so that my estrogen doesn't run rampant. I did do a video on estrogen dominance. Um, so you can check that video out. Um, if you feel that you're maybe having fibroids, you have breast cancer, um, if you're dealing with painful periods, hirsutism and, and things like that. So you may want to consider, or even infertility. Okay. You may want to go ahead and get your hormone levels checked. And that's why I kind of wanted to talk about this, right? Because when I do the progesterone, I just want to make sure um that the progesterone is actually working so i wanted to have a starting point so that i can you know base my results on something right so after a month or two i'll take this test again and see how things have changed so that's the whole point of this and i just kind of want to give let you guys in on what this process looks like if you want to get your uh hormones tested from home with a saliva test kit so um, I chose a saliva test kit because through some reading that I did, it turns out that a lot of the progesterone that you that needs to be tested um, needs to come from the tissues, right? So if you get a blood test that uh, tests is, that tests progesterone, you may not get or may not be able to read the progesterone that's actually in your tissues. So doing a saliva test kit would do that. And that's a more, um, I guess that's, that's just like the better results, right? So you'll, it's more accurate when you do it with saliva. So, uh, based on the book that I read, that's why I chose the saliva test kit and not getting it, uh, tested by my blood. So just keep that in mind. Um, the books that I read regarding estrogen dominance and progesterone deficiency are linked below. So you can support me. That way, why would you want to support me, friends? Support me. I'm supporting you. But anyways, that's my Amazon store. So um, getting your hormone, your estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone in the kit, you'll get this. And I'm going to just blank that out because that's like, 
that's for me, right? I don't need nobody trying to know what's going on with me. That's in my business, okay? But you'll get this, which this this little barcode just indicates, you know, these tubes belong to this person. So that's it. But you get this and then you get four tubes. You get a, a large tube and then you get uh, three small tubes. Now, you have to fill these tubes halfway. Y'all, you got to spit. You got to spit a lot. Like it takes, it, it took me between 30 to 45 minutes to fill fill those test tubes up halfway like i'm not even kidding but in the kit that's what you get you get the four tubes and then you also get uh these little labels so you can uh label them write your name the date uh your name date uh and time of the collection now these are the instructions you have to make sure that you follow the instructions like because if my test kit isn't able or if my test kit has like been affected and it's you know my results are affected because i didn't do something right i'm going to be pissed because i made sure that i follow this accurately now if you're getting your hormones tested right and you're menstruating well let's start with non-menstruating if you're non-menstruating and you're getting your hormones tested maybe you're um, in menopause or postmenopausal uh, you no longer have a cycle or you may be dealing with like prolonged periods where you don't typically have a cycle at all. Um, so if that's you and you're non-menstruating, you can actually take this test at any time of the month. Now, if you are menstruating, in which I am, you have to take the test either on the 19th, 20th or 21st day of your menstruation cycle. Day one is the first day of your actual period now i probably had this test for like a month because i had to wait my the time had passed and i like i said i don't want i don't want to mess up my lab results so i just decided to wait until the next month when it was day 19 20 or 21 and that's actually that was actually yesterday so i literally just did this test so um, if you have irregular cycles, um, they said if you pretty much know when your cycle is or your cycle is about to start, choose five days before that. So before you do this, you kind of want to have an idea of when your cycle starts so you can count the days. Um, so that's like the most important thing that you're taking the um, the samples of your saliva on the right day, right? Because at different times. Um, your hormones are released, right? So that's why you want to make sure you follow the instructions there. Now, um, when you take the test or you, or when you, you put the spit in the tubes, you have to clean the tubes out with hot water. You have to clean them out with hot water um, with no soap. And you have to wash your hands prior to um, the day before you can't have them like any lipstick. You don't want anything to, to impact the results, uh, of that test. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, you can't, you have to, you can't eat. So I had to wait two hours before I brushed my teeth or ate or drank anything. They say you can drink water before you take um or collect the saliva but um that's that was kind of hard for me um because you really you have to pay attention so with the four tubes you had to take it first thing in the morning first thing in the morning within 30 minutes of waking so you can't brush your teeth and the only thing that you really could consume was water so um that was the largest tube and that was like I can't remember how much it was, but it was, it was like this much, <laughs> this much spit and the bubbles don't count. So it was a lot. It took me about 45 minutes on that first one. Not even kidding, friend. It was a lot. Um, so then there's that. And then you have to take the second one, um, at lunch, right? So, uh, you couldn't eat anything with, within those two hours before you 
had lunch. So you, you really have to monitor and make sure you're not impacting your results. Okay. Um, and then you have to take, do it again for dinner. And then you take it, you do another, collect another sample before you go to bed. Right. So there's four, uh, tubes, then you label them and you put them, they give you a bag. Um, a re- it's already returned. Re- it, ha- it already has a return label on it. So you don't have to put like a, a, um, a stamp on it or anything like that. Um, what I did was I did it and you can, it's sent through USPS and I just scheduled a pickup during like my regular mail delivery because I work from home. So I could see when the lady is coming, my mail lady is coming. So I just scheduled a pickup and she just comes to the door and pick it up. So you don't get, you know, confused. Now, if you're not able to send it, send it back after you collect the samples, if you're not sending it within 24 hours, you have to freeze it. They said that it, it won't affect it, affect anything. So you just have to keep that in mind. So I did it the next day. So it was within that 24 hour period. Now, the first thing that you do have to do, I don't know why I didn't say this first, was um, the first thing you have to do is register it. So you have to log on and register your kit. Otherwise, you're doing it for nothing, friend. You're doing it for nothing. And that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm excited. They said that the results come back in like 10 days, 7 to 10 days. So I'm super excited. I really want to know where I am, especially considering estrogen was feeding my cancer uh, or the cancer that I had. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing if I'm still estrogen dominant or not. So stay tuned for the results of this test kit. And um, I'll also be doing a video on progesterone and the progesterone cream that I now can start using now that I've gotten this test taken because I didn't want to start the progesterone, right? And take the saliva test because I was like, it's going to impact my results. So I had to wait. <laughs> so on, on another video, I'll talk about the progesterone as well as the one that I'm using. And also this test kit that I am, that I'm talking about, it will be linked. It's linked in the um, description box. So if you want to get your hormones checked, you can definitely use that. I did the research on it and i um, super, super excited. I just, I want to get my results and hopefully I'm not still estrogen dominant, <laughs> but we going to see friends. We're going to see. I hope this helped you out or gave you some type of insight on what the process looks like until next week. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye friend.